वेलकम टू माई चैनल अगेन टिक इज ए प्रीमियम वैल्यू टिम्बर स्पेसिस इन दि वर्ल्ड एंड इज ओनली हार्डवुड स्पेसिस दैट इज इनक्रीजिंग इन टर्म्स ऑफ एरिया ग्लोबली इन माई प्रिवियस वीडियो ऑन टिक मेनी इम्पोर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट हैव बीन कवर्ड जेनेटिकली इम्प्रूवड प्लांटिंग मेटेरियल इज एसेंशियल प्री रिक्विजिट फॉर ऑप्टेनिंग हाई टिम्बर इल्ड उथ गुड क्वालिटी In India most of the tick plantations have been raised by planting seedlings producing from seeds of uncertain origin and quality so even after long rotation period of 50 to 80 years yield is poor it is mainly because in such plantations we see substantial variation in individual trees in growth stem form hardwood content and also in aesthetic characteristics The present day growers also look for the best return on investment within a short period to address such issues the best option for the growers is to use genetically improved clonal tick plants suitable to their areas and adopt intensive management practices so in the present video i will mainly focus on the advantages of developing clonal plantation of tick specially adopting tissue culture raised plants in india now let me show you the growth performance of four clonal plantations raised in two districts of karnataka state first i am showing the video clip of a 3 years 9 months old clonal tick trial plot raised by the research wing of karnataka forest department at ashanpura research station kolar taluk in kolar district here you can observe the tree growth under minimum soil preparation and maintenance in this plot tissue culture plants along with conventional seedlings were planted in alternate rows for comparison now please hear from mr nagesh who is the concerned deputy range forest officer from where we have brought tissue culture seedlings we have brought uh, tissue culture seedlings company called uh, mother biotech bangalore and the non tissue culture from uh, polar uh, uh, regular range how many tissue culture plants you have planted 100 uh, each 100 uh, non tissue culture and uh, 100 tissue culture uh, seedlings okay then what is the pitch size pitch size we made uh, 60 cm and the spacement of uh, 3 meters okay then have you given any fertilizer or manure ah uh, yes we have given the fertilizer uh, format manure 2 uh, kg per plant any type of irrigation you have given yes uh, initially we have given uh, around 6 months of uh, irrigation we have given that means uh, you have plan you have given only uh, around 2 kg per year manure yes sir at a time of planting yes sir okay yes sir. and then initial 6 months we have maintained the We have irrigation. given irrigation. Yes, sir. After that, uh, after that we have not given uh, irrigation. Uh, it uh, only for uh, rain fed. It is only rain fed. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. But you should have been uh, maintaining, no, this uh, plot. Uh, yes, sir. We are we are maintaining uh, only uh, like uh, weeding and uh, scraping and bowing. How many years? Uh, from uh, initially three years we have given. Okay. And actual uh, growth performance we can know after fifteen uh, years only. Now. you can look at the growth performance of another young tick clonal plot grown on 10 hectare farmland in a village of chikkabalapura taluk in chikkabalapura district here also the farmer procured tissue cultured plants from mother agri biotech company chikkabalapura and planted at 10 ft by 10 ft apart he applied drip irrigation periodically after a period of 1 year 2 months the trees attained heights varying from 4 meter to 6 meter with girt of 25 to 30 cm here it is to be noted that the farmer has carried out excessive pruning beyond 50% of the total tree height now coming to the third clonal tick plot of 6 years old located at sadahali village in chikkabalapura taluk here also the farmer planted tissue cultured plants procuring from the same source and planted at 10 ft by 10 ft 
specimen. You can notice the drip irrigation he adopted. On random measurements of the few trees, the girt at breast height was found to vary from 53 to 82 cm with approximate height range of 10 to 15 meter. One tree near the water pond attained 90 centimeter girt. Now look at another clonal tick plot of three years old located at a village in Kolar Taluk. Here the farmer procured tissue culture tick plants from Hindustan lab Kalhapur, Maharashtra and planted at 12 feet by 14 feet specimen. Here he also grew ragi, tomato, beans as intercrops depending on availability of water. The trees attained guard of 25 to 38 centimeter with 6 to 7 meter height. In another plot of two and a half year old, he raised curry leaf tree as intercrop under rain bed condition. These are few examples of growth performance of clonal tissue culture take plantation in young stage of development grown on different sites. Irrespective of clonal sources, one common observation you might have made that the trees have grown more or less uniformly, which is not usually seen in case of seed origin tick plantations due to genetic variability. Clonal plants possess similar genetic setup with desired characters inherited from the original mother tree. In plantations raised from such plants, all the trees will show uniform growth and will possess important traits like good vigor, good stem form, high hardwood content with attractive grains and color in the wood. Some clones are also resistant to pests and diseases and adaptable to soils traditionally considered unsuitable for tick. So from clonal plantation at harvesting time we can expect not only high yield but also more high value tree. The clonal tick plantation has the ability to outperform the seed plantations and has also shown its efficiency in short rotation. In Latin American countries, 20 years rotation is preferred by the private companies as well as by smallholders. In Venezuela, 6 years rotation period is followed as there is no price differentiation between young and old trees in that country. In Java, Indonesia, Brazil, Cambodia, Ghana, etc., some fast growing tick is harvested at 6 to 8 years age. However, the major concern of the growers is whether the tick wood quality is maintained in such short rotation plantations. Usually, Indians have strong affinity for tea wood due to its durability and aesthetic values. So, tea wood from very short rotation will have less demand. As per available report, 16 years rotation length is considered as minimum to obtain tea wood with acceptable quality. In a 15-year-old clonal plantation established in Kerala, a Nilambur clone showed promising result in terms of faster growth with average 62.8% hardwood content in wood. As per another report, tick can attain optimum timber strength in 20 to 30 years rotation age with MAI 10 to 12 cubic meter per hectare. So Indian growers may choose 20 to 30 years or even little more for obtaining quality timber. The Latin American countries expanded clonal tick plantations since the early 2000s, whereas in India, development of such plantations is still in nascent stage mainly due to unavailability of adequate improved tissue cultured clonal materials. Earlier, few institutes like National Chemical Laboratories, Pune, Tata Energy Research Institute, Delhi, produced tissue culture tick plants but hardly reached to the farmers. In recent years, some private companies 
started producing tissue culture tick plants and are supplying to the growers. Two I have already mentioned. IFGTB Coimbatore developed three improved tick clones sourced from superior trees of Nilambur, Kerala and top slips, Tamil Nadu and are producing tissue cultured tick plants through three Bangalore based biotech companies for supplying to the growers. Tissue culture tick plants are costly, so farmers can grow clonal tick plants along with normal seedlings to reduce cost. Those who cannot afford such costly plants, still they can grow tick seedlings procuring from recognized sources like forest department. India imports tick timber from countries like Brazil, Costa Rica, Ghana, etc. These countries mostly supply tick woods from short rotation plantations. Indian growers also can grow such type of tick timber or even better quality than that in short rotation and thereby can reduce import. Not only big farmers, small and marginal farmers can also adopt clonal tick plantations in agroforestry system as a viable economic activity. In future, such small woodlots of tick will become important sources of tick in domestic and international markets. Government of India should develop policy framework for certifying such smallholders tree farm. Adequate numbers of demonstration plots are to be developed in different agroclimatic regions to convince the farmers to adopt clonal tick plantations. In natural forest, conventional way of planting with seedling stock need to be continued for conservation of biodiversity which will also play major role in carbon sequestration and in restoration of degraded forest landscape. In India, we may need to wait still more time to invest with the private tick plantations companies as the past experience with such companies was not pleasant. Thank you very much.